I'm not dating to marry. Now, equally, I'm not dating to break up, but I'm just not dating to do anything. I'm dating to have life experience, to have fun with you. I'm dating because I like you, and I'm dating because we're here right now. There's nothing deeper to it for me. I've never been someone to think that in order for something to be worth my time, it has to be forever, or it has to end in marriage, or it has to... like. I could get married for 50 years and get a fucking divorce. And I can't speak for her because it hasn't happened. And I hope it doesn't happen, to be fair. It sounds painful, but I just can't see myself thinking that that was a waste of time as long as I had fun, you know? I've never understood when people get out of a relationship and they're like, I want my fucking time back. Why? You lived it, like, the years I spend with anyone. Like, those are my years. They're not our years. They weren't your years. They were mine. Like, you were part of my story. Maybe not forever. Why would I want anything back? You know, like those years don't have your name on them. You're just somewhere in there. And it's so weird. I don't know. I've just never had that mindset, I guess. So basically, I don't I don't date. Although I disagree with like 90% of the things that she just said, what I respect about her is that she's upfront and honest. And if she's in a date or if she's in a, she's entering a relationship with somebody and if she's the same way up front, like she's on social media with that person that's about to take her serious, then I respect that because... If any expectations that that person had, that means that's on them because she warns you up front. The problem is in this society is that a lot of modern women are thinking just like her, but they are sending mixed signals with their intentions. So they feel just like her and they think just like her, but they make you believe that it's going to be it's something totally different. And that's just not modern women. That's men, modern men as well. But my stance is why would you get married with an exit plan? You should, if you're going to go as far as to take vows and do all those type of things and have a big old celebration day, why would you have an exit plan? You should always be thinking about anything you can do as a solution to maintain the marriage. If you're not willing to do that, then why don't you just continue to date that person without the commitment of marriage? Because when you're just dating someone, you can leave whenever you want to. When you get married, you literally are signing a contract that's saying that you're committed to each other. Dating is not like that.